Victims of abusive relationships are finding peace and understanding through ink and paper. The Alexandra House in Blaine is bringing women in and emotions out through writing. It all began as a child. It all began after I said I do. Crystal, a mother of two boys from Blaine, expected life to follow a different path. I had a vision of, you know, this happy marriage and retiring, you know, sitting on my stoop with my husband and, you know, watching our grandchildren play in the yard. But after suffering through verbal and physical domestic abuse, she knew a change was needed. It all began when I stood up for myself. It all began when I finally called the police. Something you should know about me. I am a caring, helpful, loving, and supportive person. Faith from St. Paul, who asked us not to show her face, saw abuse from her husband at a younger age. Years later, after moving in with her daughter, it returned in another form. I knew it wasn't me that was the problem, but that you couldn't express because they couldn't see it. I have health issues. and Peace is something that helps to keep me healthy. So I, I just knew I had to leave. Although Faith and Crystal took different paths, both found the Alexandra House in Blaine and met Maddie P., a follow-up advocate who recognized victims' needs for expression. In a group space, there's not always a, it's not always comfortable for everybody to just talk about what's happening, and so they still need a way to interact with that and process themselves. With a passion to put pen to paper, Maddie researched the effects of writing on domestic abuse victims. Finding no answer, she decided to still give it a try, starting her own writing group at the house. We go through goals every week, and it's always the same three goals. To take control of what I tell myself, um, to use words in community to help me heal and let me be me, and to find out who I am and not who others say I am. Then quiet, lost, and painfully alone, weak, behind the cage, looking in, beautiful, looking out, fearful. Through different exercises and prompts each week, the writers are seeing the power of personal prose. Starting today, I decided to take my life back, stay in my lane, and allow others to do for themselves as I have done for them in the past. One of the things we do is a big tree exercise where we talk about how do we integrate our past, our present, and how do we get to our future? How do we work through all of that? Faith and Crystal say problems became easier to identify after turning thoughts into words on paper. Coming to the group enhanced my ability to recognize things that were going on within me that I wasn't aware of. Now it's physical, it's in front of me, which is scary, but it also means that it's out there, it's not inside of me anymore, and I can deal with it. And I didn't really, had to realize that I had, was in an abusive relationship, um, and the longer I've been writing about what's happening, or where I'm at, the more I have see, you know, what was really going on. It helped me to be able to express myself. It has helped me not be afraid to do it. Because once you see it, so be it. The writers say they also found comfort in hearing others' stories, knowing they're not alone, and offering advice. Sometimes I get to a point in the class that I feel like I might be able to tell them something as well, you know, that they could learn from. I'm a much happier person. I can get that junk out and what's left is you know peace and happiness and you know being okay and accepting of who i am versus having this like nasty stuff inside of me now peacefully happy and centered powerful cage is gone i am free and you could see that in me crystal and faith say the alexandra house offers more than just an outlet and an ear after i left my abusive relationship i didn't have a job. Um, my car broke down. So that was my concern. You know, and it kills a person to tell their children that Santa Claus, you know, isn't coming this year. And I'm sorry about that to their children. You know, it, so they made it possible. I can't say enough about this place. I wouldn't have never. I've never lived in any of this kind of facility, 
but you couldn't ask for any more. Everybody is walking in, not just with that abuse that they've experienced, but also with the stress of trying to find housing, trying to find out who I am in the midst of all of this, um, trying to get a job, trying to recover from addiction, whatever that is, and it, writing really opens the door to that and says whatever it is that you want to address in this group is fine. By seeing progress, helping women uncover talents and recognizing their value, Maddie says she's seeing benefits too. It's amazing. It's a huge honor and I say that almost every group because it's it's such an overwhelming thing to have someone read their own work in their own voice. It all began as I started to seek help. It all began when I loved myself. It all began. For information on joining the writing group, visit their website at alexandrahouse.org. We're joined once again by therapist Susan Roller. Susan, what kind of psychological effects can domestic abuse have on a person? Um, the effects can be very far-reaching. Um, typically, uh, we can see things like post-traumatic stress develop, depression, anxiety, insomnia. And of course, um, when the family is affected, it doesn't just affect the person who's being assaulted, but their children as well. And just how important is it to seek out help? I think it's critically important to seek out help. Um, it breaks the cycle of isolation that is so common in domestic violence. And do you see the effects of this linger for a long time, or, or can it possibly go away at some point? You know, what we know about post-traumatic stress disorder is that we don't cure it. Of course, not everyone who is um, involved with domestic abuse develops PTSD, but the symptoms can persist, but we know that people can recover and can learn coping skills. And it's just great to see that there are so many more resources for people to, to use now. Absolutely, and that is one of the things, reach out, get help.